Now, while we've uh, seen several school board meetings turn contentious, the Wilson County Board of Education voted to continue its mask mandate, and they did so without any issue at all tonight. The vaccination rate in Wilson is among the lowest in the state, and masks there remain controversial. So, what made the difference tonight? CBS 17's Amy Cutler is going to take a look at that for us. The Wilson County Board of Education voted unanimously tonight to continue its mask mandate. It means all students and staff will have to wear face coverings in all school buildings and on the bus. No one spoke out against it. Mrs. Barnes? Aye. Mrs. Boyer? Aye. Mr. Borkin? Aye. And with that, the resolution requiring masks in Wilson County schools passed. We've seen some other school board meetings get a lot more contentious when it comes to the mask mandate. What do you think made the difference for you guys tonight? We have had some members of the community express, express displeasure about us having um, a mandate. Longtime chair Dr. Christine Fitch points to the COVID-19 metrics. According to the county health department, more than 11 percent of tests are coming back positive. The vaccination rate is one of the lowest in the state at just 43 percent. The district tells me 11 staff members are in quarantine, 380 students. But if masks weren't required, the numbers would be much higher. Express individual concern, but they have gone along with um, our decision. The board also expected to discuss a proposal that would allow staff to search a student's cell phone if they're suspected of breaking school rules or the law, the school could look for evidence, including their text messages and photos. It was brought up during the last meeting and was met with opposition from parents. Do you think it's something you could support? I'm going to wait until I hear the recommendations brought back by our legal counsel. As for the more controversial proposal of searching student cell phones, staff is still reviewing it at the request of the board. It is unclear when it will be brought back for the board's consideration. In Wilson, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. Amy, thank you.